I started by dry fitting all of my pieces. Unfortunately, I lost the video of cutting the pieces, but they were pretty simple cuts and very specific to my space. If you make this, make sure to measure the space this will end up in and the plastic litter box that goes inside. I used about half a sheet of half inch J ply for mine. The next step was to glue all the edges and nail them together with my brown nailer. To make the jail bars for the hay feeder, I drilled holes the same diameter as some wood dowels I had in the shop, making sure to distance them far enough apart that the rabbit could grab the hay, but close enough that he wouldn't get his head stuck. In order to make sure the holes were the right depth, I marked the drill bit with tape. I then glued and assembled one half of the hay feeder and dry fit the other half to make sure it was all the right size and shape. The next step was to cut and secure a piece of ply to create a slope for the hay to sit on. That way it all slides to the front of the feeder and the bunny doesn't have to reach all the way to the back. This was a bit tricky as I had to measure and cut the piece at an angle to fit snugly. Then I sanded everything before assembling the hay feeder. That's when my little sister came over to help in the shop, so I put her to work applying silicon to seal up any cracks the hay might fall through. We then assembled the hay feeder bars and attached them to the litter box with glue and nails. I didn't apply any finish since I didn't know what would be safe for the rabbit, and I thought the cherry ply had a nice natural look anyway. We inserted a plastic litter box to make it easier to clean, and it was done. Hello there, I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe to see more videos about me and belly stuff I guess.